Hey guys, what is up and I welcome you to a very new League of Legends video. In this episode, I will be discussing another theory, except this one will be solely focusing on Zed. And it will be mainly focusing on a specific part of his lore, which is, the Dark Ninja followed the Master inside. Moments later, the assembled ninjas heard Zed cry out in pain. Mysteriously, he emerged unscathed and threw the severed head of his master at Shen's feet. Screaming in rage, Zed commanded his followers to slaughter the master's students and seize the box. Now before I do get further into this, I want to mention that I will be referencing a post that was made by a user. And as usual, I will have a link in the description if you want to read this for yourself. Before I get into the three theories that the author has about that specific part of Zed's lore, there's also a few other things that I want to cover, because one, they are somewhat interesting as well. And two, they help build up everything before I get into the theories. So first, let's go over some facts about Zed that are very important to remember. The first is the fact that Zed is the first ninja in 200 years to use the forbidden technique. The second is the fact that Zed and Shen did not get along due to their rivalry. And that Shen was jealous of Zed because the training that the master was giving to Zed was easier than the one that was given to Shen. Zed found and used the forbidden ways not only to surpass Shen, his rival, but also to gain favor from his master. But unfortunately from this, Zed got banished by his master as he sensed Zed using the dark powers. Eventually, Zed had his own following of ninjas and he then decided to return to the temple. But the odd thing is, the master was already waiting outside as if he's about to welcome Zed and his ninjas as guests. He then begins admitting to Zed that he failed him as a master, and implores Zed to enter the temple, destroy the box, and return to the path of balance. And here's the interesting part. Zed doesn't kill the master right away, nor does he complain to the master or deny destroying the box. So we could assume that maybe Zed was actually willing to forgive his master and admit the error of his ways. And this is where we come to the quote that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, of how Zed emerged unscathed and threw the severed head of his master at Shen's feet. So as I'm sure you can guess, the biggest question of all in Zed's lore is what exactly happened within that tempo. So now I will propose the three different theories as to what potentially did happen. Following that I will also talk about other things related to Zed's lore, because they are honestly also quite interesting. But let's get right into the meat of this video. Each different theory has its own starting point. The first one is that the scream was of emotional pain. The second is that it was of magical pain. And the third one, and probably the most interesting one, is that it was of physical pain. So let's start things off with the emotional pain theory. So this one suggests that as the master and Zed were walking through the room with a box in order to destroy it, maybe they were talking between each other about the forgiveness that the master wants from Zed and how he failed them as a teacher. And maybe Zed was starting to realize that the shrouded path that he took is the wrong one indeed. Because Zed was founded by his master while he was young, and that the master practically raised him as his own. And the only reason Zed even got involved with the shadows was just to seek approval of what we can almost call his father. So with all these thoughts and all this confusion in Zed's mind, it is possible that he killed his master through blind rage. Or on the other hand, it could be that the shadows deep within him influenced him to do so. And since the master was quite old, it can be fair to assume that he's unable to defend himself against someone like Zed. And after he realized what he had has done, he cried out in pain. Or maybe the master actually set up a trap for Zed within the temple, and as the master tried to attack him to completely cancel out the forbidden ways from being used, the shadows overtook Zed, killed the master, and as Zed finally regained his consciousness, he realized what he has done. So that does about sum it up for theory number one. The second theory will be talking about magical pain. This one is gonna be a little bit similar to what I just mentioned, but the theory states that the master once again did set up a trap for Zed, but this time instead of attacking him, he set up a magical ritual with the purpose of removing the shadows from Zed's mind. Because maybe the shadows are slowly consuming him, and the only way to save Zed without actually killing him is to remove the shadows from his mind. Because don't forget, in his lore, it does state that the shadows touched his mind as he opened the box. Which can also explain as to why Zed slowly became more evil with each day that passed. And while the ritual was taking place, the pain could have caused Zed to scream. Especially since we're obviously assuming that the ritual failed, and that the shadows were able to overcome it. To the point where they forced Zed to behead his master. And maybe this sped up the process of the shadows taking over Zed's mind. And from this he became fully engulfed in the shadows, which is why he became so evil that he ended up throwing the master's head at Shen's feet. 
clearly becoming a different person altogether. So that does sum it up for the second theory, the magical one. And let's finally go to the third one, which is probably the most interesting, physical pain. So this theory does go pretty crazy. The master would talk to Zed in a very emotional way, pretty much talking to him like a father would to a son, constantly apologizing, being very sympathetic, and mentioning how he's very proud to be his master, more or less giving Zed exactly what he desired initially, his master's favor. And after feeling like he finally got what he desired, Zed could have hugged his master out of joy. And that's when the master turned around and stabbed Zed. And as Zed asked the master why he would do such a thing, the master finally ended up revealing to Zed that he is actually his father. And that Shen is of course his brother. But no one of course except the master and the mother knew about this. And now you might be wondering, why? Here's the proposed plan of the master. He would raise Zed as his son without Zed actually knowing the truth to refrain him from using the dark arts so he could have the shadows all for himself. And this would explain why the master banished the Zed when he used the dark powers. And we can assume that the master trained in the ancient forbidden ways as well. Which would also explain why the master was able to detect that Zed was using the forbidden techniques himself. And then you have the mother of Shen and Zed, who was never mentioned except in Akali's lore. And with the assumptions being made so far, that also makes it that Zed and Akali are brother and sister. And that the mother was also in on this deal with the master and disappeared to train their sister, Akali. And now this is where a lot of you may be going WTF. So let us take a small break from this theory and jump to the topic of talking about the relationship between Zed and Akali. Taking a look at an Ask Me Anything thread that was made about Zed, it was stated in quotes, but we have some interesting ideas about Akali's connection to Zed in particular. Food for thought, Akali's pacifist twin disciplines, her title, the Fist of Shadow. Hmm. They later answer a question asking if Zed had any favorite students by saying the following. He may have had a favorite student at one point, but this particular student is no longer a part of his order. So the connection between the two can obviously be made that maybe Akali was Zed's favorite student. I mean her title is the Fist of Shadow and Zed's title is the Master of Shadows. And of course her passive is also called Twin Disciplines which could reference the fact that she uses both the Kinku and the Shadow techniques. And her W, Twilight Shroud, even seems to potentially be a shadow technique. Now the only contradicting thing is the fact that it does say in her lore how Akali was raised by her mother ever since she was able to form a fist, and that she joined the Kinku Order at the age of 14, succeeding her mother as the Fist of Shadow. Since it does say in Zed's lore that the Order of the Shadows was only founded after the Kinku Order had been rebuilt by Shen. So clearly there is still some connection between Akali and Zed, and maybe it is the one that was proposed in theory number three. So with that being said, let's go back to that theory. And the reason she was trained at such a young age and joined the order at such a young age as well might have been so that the master could refrain her just like he did with Zed. Because he wanted all the glory for himself to look good in the eyes of Ionia. Until he could destroy the Kinku and reveal himself not only to Ionia but to his family. But Zed's exile and sinking into the shadows was the perfect guise for himself. And that is why the master stabbed Zed so that he could take Zed's place and pretend that he was the one that died using an ancient shadow technique technique to make the severed head look like his. And this could explain why Zed always has some form of helmet on, never actually revealing his true face and his true identity. I mean every single skin that he has, his face is hidden. So this would explain that for sure, on top of explaining the sudden change of personalities within Zed's lore, and how Zed was found by the master. It could also help explain the ties between Zed and Akali, being that he wanted to train her in the dark arts from youth so he made his wife do it in secret, but after sensing that both Shen and Akali were too focused on balance and doing good, the master and his wife would only look for a more worthy successor, Zed. And Zed also did the hard work for his master, gathering a group of ninja followers to the dark arts, and he could begin executing the rest of his plan. Alright guys, so those are the theories potentially explaining the Zed's lore and exactly what happened within that temple. Special thanks to Dial Mark for Action for creating the thread that he did. Definitely check it out in the description below to read through it as well, as there is a lot more information within it that I had to skip. So tell me in the comments below what do you think, which of the theories do you think is the most plausible. And also please don't forget to throw in a like if you end up enjoying this video and sharing it with your friends. But as always I hope you guys did enjoy this video and hope to see you next time. Peace.